Hello and welcome to another Stack Team App Help video. This video is about removing content from your app. During this video we'll be covering a range of different topics which are how to bulk delete members and individual members, how to bulk archive news articles or events, how to remove a recurring series of events, how to remove chat rooms and gallery items, and how to remove documents. Once you have watched this video, we would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. You can easily remove items either from the app on your smartphone or using the website dashboard which you can access at stackteamapp.com. But for this video, we'll show you how to remove them using the website dashboard. The first topic we're going to cover is how to bulk delete members and how to delete individual members. Once you have logged into your website dashboard, click on the members button, then click on the three dots to the right, then select bulk delete members. Then click the select members section and you will see the list of all of your members. Select the members you wish to bulk delete by clicking the box on the left, then tick the box at the bottom letting you know that this is going to permanently delete these members, then click bulk delete. These members have now been removed from your app. If you would like to remove an individual member, follow these steps. Click on the Members tab in the website dashboard. Find the member you wish to delete, then next to their name, click on the three dots, then choose Delete. It will then ask you if you are sure you want to delete them. If so, press Delete. The next topic we will cover is how to bulk archive news or events items, as it's the same process for each feature. In your dashboard, click Manage next to either News or Events, then press the three dots, then choose Edit. You will now see it gives you the option to select one or more news or events items. Choose the news or events items you wish to archive, then at the top press archive. These have now been moved to the archive section. You also have the ability to restore or delete these archive news or event items. If you want to, go back into the feature, press the three dots and then choose archived. You will see the archived items. To restore or delete an item, press the three dots and then press either Restore or Delete. Now we are going to show you how to archive and delete a recurring series of events. In your dashboard, go to the Events or Schedule feature where the series of events that you wish to delete are and select the event. This will now open up the list of events in the series. Then click the three dots and press Edit. You will now see it gives you the option to select which of the recurring events you wish to archive. Choose the events you want to archive, then press Archive. These events will now be in the Archive section. Once events have been archived, you can either restore them or delete them. To do this, go into the Events or Schedule feature, then press the three dots, then press Archived. To restore or delete an event, press the three dots next to the event and choose either Restore or Delete. In the Events feature, you also have the ability to archive all from a recurring series of events. Click Manage next to Events and then click into an event with the series. Click the three dots and then select Archive All. Next, we're going to show you how to remove chat rooms and gallery items. First, we'll show you how to delete a chat room. In your website dashboard, click Manage next to the chat feature. And now you'll see a list of chat rooms that have been created. To delete a chat room, press the three dots next to the chat room and then press Delete. It will ask you again just to make sure you want to do this. If so, press delete. Now we'll show you how to remove gallery items. If you would like to remove a gallery item that has multiple photos or videos in it, next to the gallery item, press the three dots and then select delete. It will ask you again if you want to delete. If you would like to remove a specific photo or video from a gallery, go into that gallery then click edit album. Next to the image or video you wish to delete, press the three dots and simply select Delete. These are now deleted from this gallery. Next, we're going to show you how to remove items in the Documents or Newsletters feature. In your website dashboard, click Manage next to the Documents or Newsletters feature. If you want to delete a folder that has numerous documents, simply select the three dots next to the folder, then press Delete. It will ask you again just to make sure. If so, press Yes. If you want to delete an item in a folder, Select the folder, then click on the three dots, then press Edit. Next to the document or documents you wish to delete, press the three dots and click Delete. It will ask you again if you are sure. If so, press Delete. Thanks for watching another Stack Team App Help video. As always, if you have any further questions about removing content from your app, 
or questions about any other features, reach out to us via stackteamapp.com.